Well, everybody, Tim Time Projects here. I'm just, I'm Tim from, you know what I mean? But uh, I have a really short video, and you know when I say that, sometimes it's trouble, but today this is true. And it's about capacitors, and it's just something that I observed that I thought was kind of humorous that I want to pass on, uh, and hopefully you'll find it helpful. But Okay, I was replacing these capacitors here, and... I know it worked because I had fired it up and, and checked it and everything was fine. So I really wasn't that concerned about them being wrong. But it was a little bit, they're, they're kind of designed, I know it's not charged, I, this has been weeks and everything's uh, been discharged and removed because I was replacing these diodes. Where are they? They're, oh, these guys here with 1N4007. So, okay, long, different story. But just by the way these are wired in here, the way they have them, and then they have a wire running between them. It was kind of confusing to look at, so that's why I pulled out the schematic just to ensure I wanted to make sure that the power supply circuit here was wired correctly, and I started to have some questions about capacitors, and I'll explain that to you. Okay, so I decided to go to the internet for some clarification. Here we go. Here's some nice drawings. Makes a lot of sense. Shows me where the positive is, where the negative is. Got it. So, I read on a little bit further here. The schematic symbol for an electrolytic capacitor is two parallel lines with a curved line at one end. That doesn't make much sense, but okay. The curved line represents the positive side, and the straight line represents the negative side. Okay, fair enough. Wait a minute. The straight line is positive in the drawing, and the curved line is negative. Hmm. I guess even the internet can make mistakes. I know. I'll break out a schematic and look at that. At least that, uh, that'll give me some answers. Okay, there we have it. The straight side is plus, and the curved side is negative. So there we have it. I knew that the schematic would give us the answer. Wait a minute. Same schematic different capacitor, now this curve side's plus. And then if you look above that, even all the non-polarized capacitors are using the plus on one side to curve on the other. All right, I'm confused. All right, well, while we're on the subject of capacitor anomalies, here's one more I should probably bring up. There are times that you may not be used to if you're not used to working with uh, equipment that has a negative voltage, like tube equipment, where the positive side of your capacitor is going to be connected to ground. So watch out for that. That's not a mistake. That's the way it is because the ground is more the ground is more positive than the negative voltage. So that's why that's that's how they figure. So who's wrong and who's right? I guess it doesn't much matter if not everyone's going to follow that convention. So the most important thing I can tell you is when you're doing this, pay attention to how they come out, especially if the thing was working before you messed with it. And uh, be really careful when you're putting them back in. And don't be afraid to mark things, write things out. And don't just depend on, on the schematic to always be right. Or maybe the way that somebody else put it in there. Just pretty much try and document as you remove them, mark them, pay attention to them. Yeah, and then especially if it worked, it should continue to work when you're done fixing it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your capacitors.